welcome to my channel. Hi, if you're new, my name is Yvonne. I recently just started this channel. But in today's video, we're gonna go ahead and do a house tour of the military base here at Fort Bragg in North Carolina. And yeah, so if you're interested, if you're planning to move into base here at Fort Bragg, stick around and you can have an idea of what you're looking for. And yeah, so thank you a lot for watching. And if you enjoy it, please give it a big thumbs up and subscribe for more upcoming videos. And yeah. Hi guys, so we're going to go ahead and start with the entrance. Here's the door, as you can see. And then these stairs lead all the way up, obviously, to a three bedrooms and two baths. One being the guest room and the other one being them in the master room. And then here we have the dining area. Um, at first we didn't know exactly what to do with this area, but we've decided to put a table, a dining table. It looks pretty nice. And then over here we have a little closet where we keep coats shoes and all my husband's um, army gear and then off to this side we can go into the kitchen which is pretty spacious it has a lot of room um, we were deciding to put in a table here but we don't know yet maybe in the future or a cabinet or something to not have that empty space and we also have all the appliances that came with the house that worked perfectly fine um, with a lot of space of cabinets and also we have a pretty spacious pantry where you can fit pretty much everything and then there's this little hallway with this door leading to the backyard and also the boiler We also have this little um, half bath, which is very, very convenient. And then you can see the backyard from right here. This is where the washer and dryer goes. Uh, we don't have any currently, but we are planning to get some. Much needed. So, yeah, so we come up to the living room, which is pretty big, I would say, very big. Um, sorry for all the mess my husband's prepping all his gear um, and yeah we, we're still deciding on how we're gonna arrange the house how we're decorating so that might be in an upcoming video um, and also right here we have the AC unit there's a lot of closets here that so you might think they're empty but they're actually occupied there's a little nook right here we actually turned this room into my off my husband's office. Um, we were planning to turn this into a guest room, but it's a perfect size for an office. So, and my husband needed one, so we decided to do that. And also, this door also leads to the backyard, which is awesome. And this back porch is huge, and it's so nice to have this space. You know, having a child. So we can grill out here, we can have guests come, you know, when this pandemic is over. Um, my daughter's trampoline that we just installed. And we also have that storage unit right there where we can put things that we don't need or things that are too big to be in the house. And yeah, so this uh, overview of the back of the house. And so we're going to go ahead and go upstairs and the first thing you see is the guest bathroom which is my daughter's bathroom. Um, it's pretty big. I like it. It has a full on bath where she can take bath. Pretty nice. Pretty big, spacious closet. And I love this hallway. I love how long it is. And then we go off to the guest bedroom, which is pretty big. We were gonna turn this into my daughter's room, but she wanted to be closer to us. And I think it was the best thing to do. 
here's a little closet and there's also another closet which is way bigger than that one I would say longer where we keep pretty much everything that we don't use um, eventually we will put a queen size bed here or a full bed for our guests <laughs> or he'll get into things oh my goodness can't stay mad at that little face. He's so adorable. <laughs> He's hilarious. But yeah, so we go off into my daughter's room, which is a pretty decent sized room. Being her five years old, she doesn't need to touch a huge room. So it's the perfect size. Um, she also has a walk-in closet, so she can fit pretty much everything that she owns. And yeah, so far it's been a great experience in this house. Um, we don't have any complaints or anything like that. The neighbors here are pretty nice. So yeah, and then we come up to our master bedroom where we have our my husband's closet, which he can fit pretty much everything. He has a smaller and I obviously have the biggest closet. Um, I, I obviously have way more clothes than he does um, but yeah I love I love our little privacy there and then you can see the master bedroom which is pretty big it's a little empty right now we're still we are still trying to decorate and fill it up a little more and here's the master bedroom, which I love. I love how it has two sinks, one for him and one for me. Although he always goes to mine. It's crazy, but it is what it is. But yeah, I love it. Um, and then here we have a closet where we keep all of our things, towels everything I still need to organize I'm gonna go ahead and make a video like I mentioned it before I'm gonna make a video of organizing and making this into a home you know I feel it like it's so empty upstairs um, but yeah I really hope y'all enjoyed this video um, I'm actually gonna be showing some clips of how the neighborhood looks and yeah I was actually on my way to go pick up my daughter so I decided to show you a little bit of what this neighborhood is like and yeah so I hope y'all enjoy this video give it a big thumbs up and see you in my next videos bye